Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, go check out my 18 plus I just posted a couple days ago. Um, it was a good one. <clears throat> so good that YouTube age restricted it. <laughs> so my apologies, guys. Um, it's always when I use my hands. When I use my hands to explain things, YouTube's like, no, too much, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've been having a bit of technical issues with my phone. Keep running out of storage, so we're going to have a little quickie today. You guys want to join me for a quickie? I'm going to do a really, really short reading. <coughs> i got to figure out what's going on because I'm paying for enough storage. We're going to use the Kipper and jump right in, guys. God, Michael Spirit, please help me connect to the collective at this time. Anything... That they need to hear at this time for their highest and greatest good. Marriage. Three. I'm, um, with... Okay. Let's collect my thoughts here. Everything came swarming in at once. With the number three, I feel like you guys are working on, um, with the divine at this time. And it could have to do with a sacred marriage. So, we'll see what that's all about. I'm also, I keep hearing this song... Right before I started this reading, <clears throat> Into You by Paramore, specifically the part where it says, I should be over all the butterflies, I'm into you. Sorry guys, I'm still sick, <laughs> so I can't really sing that great right now. <clears throat> My apologies. And then we have 18 child. I just heard there could be a child involved. Actually... When you guys come together, if you're not already married, you guys may have a significant child together. I just heard meant for greatness. Your child could look like this little baby too. Like I said, it could be um, a child that you guys already have together if you are married. March 18th could be significant for you guys. We have 17 gifts. Yeah, I feel like this child is going to be a gift from God. This child could already be 17. And then we have 27 unexpected income. 24 thief. I just heard a 24 year old could have stole from you. But we'll see what's that all about. Yeah, it could be a close friend here with community on the bottom, 39. These numbers could be significant, whether it's year that you were born, ages of people you know. So just take it how it resonates, guys. We have a message. For it to come in reverse, I don't usually read these in reversals at all, but um, I'm getting it's a long-awaited message. It's been a while. I'm getting 717. Uh, shout out to uh, Twintuitive717, because that's what I just thought of. So maybe <clears throat> maybe some of you guys watch her channel. If you don't, she's really, um, she's like me. She's real. She doesn't sugarcoat shit. So you guys go check her out. But yeah, I feel like there's a long-awaited message that hasn't come in just yet. And then we have House 20. <clears throat> God, Michael Spirit, what does the collective need to know for their highest and greatest good at this time? <clears throat> Guys, for anybody, because um, I keep getting emails <coughs> and messages on um, Instagram, like where the donations, everything is always going to be in the description box. My social medias, where my donations, like where you can do it. All of that will always be in the description box. And I really appreciate all the donations, guys. It helps me more than you know. Two of Pentacles. Oh, both of you could be married. Or there's like a back and forth energy on whether or not this marriage could work. King of Swords. Or someone wanting to divorce someone. Having a hard time because the kids... Yeah, King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It could be like their logical mind saying, stay in this marriage for the kids and then the back and forth, but like go to you because you have their heart. We'll get some more. Yep. 
two of cups. Yeah, I, I'm hearing um, like you're a gift from God to them. Or they were a gift of God, uh, a gift from God to you, and you were their miracle, is what I just heard. Nine of Cups. You guys could have struggled financially for a while, and um, it's one of your wish fulfillments to not have to worry about finances. I feel like you you guys are gonna have some kind of unexpected. I just said unexpected glory or income. <coughs> All right, we have nine of wands here. Thief of joy is what I just heard, and it's funny because I think um, Will Ferrell in that movie Elf says that like you're a thief of joy and i almost almost used my christmas deck because i felt like i kept channeling christmas for the last few readings and it's my elf deck i'll show you guys so you don't think i'm lying <laughs> it was this deck i was pre-shuffling it at pre-shuffling it and everything and then i was like nah i won't use it i'll keep it special for christmas but I was sad about it because it's such a cute deck. <laughs> then we have the hangman that came out. Yeah, long awaited message. Standstill energy. Sorry, I had to drink some water, guys. Gotta dehydrate and flush all this toxic shit out of my body. All right, we have the Ten of Cups and the Devil and the High Priestess underneath. Whew. Someone knows someone's family dynamic is very karmic. This could be that debate going back and forth on whether or not to leave. All right, let's get some more. I'm going to use this lovely deck here. All right, God, Michael, Spirit, why the two of pentacles? Ten of pentacles someone could be um financially stable right now so that's why they're going back and forth on whether or not to um leave this marriage also they could be afraid of family conflict i just heard my family doesn't approve of this connection excuse me sorry also i'm hearing that um this person is afraid that their family and friends um, might not give you a chance. Why the King of Swords? Yeah, the Empress. Wow, child, Empress. Empress usually means birth, fertility. There could be an unexpected child and this is what's putting this masculine in their head. Like they're, they're trying to do what's right financially. Not necessarily by the heart. Nine could be significant, nine, nine, nine. When I was pre-shuffling the cards, a lot of cards that were coming out had nines, and I was drawn to this 18 again with the eight plus one is nine. So September 3rd could be significant. I'm getting 333 three, three as well. 2003 just popped up. Someone, a masculine is in their head a lot, trying to figure out a way to work on this connection, to make this work. Because you are their wish fulfillment. I just heard, I choose you, but it's, it's finances. That's the issue. Okay, let's get one more for this empress. Three of wands. They are working on it, though. Yeah, because look, nine of pentacles, which was on the bottom before... Ace of Cups, the Chariot. Yeah, they choose you. They want to come towards you. I'm getting 777 and 717 again. You definitely have their heart. Why the... T I was going to ask why the Two of Cups. And we have the Four of Pentacles in the Tower. 
Yeah, you came out of nowhere. I'm hearing that Canyon Cox song on YouTube. I don't think he's signed, so you would have to look it up. Came out of nowhere or out of nowhere, I think the song's called. You were very unexpected. They thought they had their life in order and everything was lined up. And um, God decided to give them a gift in the form of you and it kind of threw them off. I'm also hearing that you guys marry each other and you've never felt a love like this. So if you guys have been in love before, um, it's never been like this. 316 could be significant, 317, but I almost said 315. St. Patrick's Day could have been significant. Um, you could have came out of nowhere as well because I did hear you have to stop playing with people. Yeah, and I just split the deck at the devil. And we have the seven of cups. So I feel like this person may have been dabbling in a lot of people, even if they are in a committed relationship. If it's not them, it's the person that they were with. So God was trying to tell them and show them that they deserve better. That not everyone is their... Um, I just heard their ex, but I'm picking up like they're still together. So maybe that's a confirmation that they will leave. I just saw 1123, um, 1122 as well. But if this person might be thinking, um, yeah, because remember in the beginning, this person was going back and forth whether or not this marriage would um, basically stand the test of time. I just saw 1144. So, um, yeah, I'm hearing if you're looking for a sign, sorry, I'm getting a lot of downloads all at once, but if you're looking for a sign, this person, this empress is not your ex, is not your karmic. Yeah, five of swords. So you guys, um, coming into each other's lives caused a lot of conflict. Could have been with karmic energies. I keep hearing manipulation throughout this whole reading, guys. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles that came out to clarify the Nine of Cups. And then we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is debating whether or not to offer you something tans tangible. I'm also hearing someone might want to help you out financially. That's not for everyone. That's very specific. But you could be in a back and forth energy whether or not you want to receive this help. Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely for you. It could be because this person does love you and they want to help you out, but I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, you're you're debating whether or not you should do this or if it would cause more problems in the long term. So maybe you were already offered this help. Use your intuition though. Let's get one more. Okay, too many. Let's get one more for this. Okay. Yeah, it's because someone wants to show you action and fight for this connection that they want to make something work. They're trying to figure out a way to do it, though. I just heard I want a happy home. So someone could be trying to... <coughs> someone could be trying to figure out how to... Basically not leave something in a tower moment. But the problem is, as they keep resisting and trying to keep everything, um, you know, picture perfect or like um, thinking, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like trying to control every situation. Like at the end of the day, when you leave a marriage, it's not going to be easy. Someone's going to be upset. You guys might be chill. Like right now, my karmic and I are finally getting along. Thank you, God. Amen. Because before it was like she couldn't even stand the sight of me or she would be pissed off for any old reason. <laughs> it did not matter. But we're finally getting along. But the thing is, um, you know, if I start dating someone or if I bring someone 
to my place or anything like that, she's probably going to get triggered and it's going to be an issue. So um, if there's someone here, whether it's you or your person that's trying to control everything and think everything's going to be all peaches and cream, it's, it's not going to be. That's fantasy land. We live in the real world. We are still all humans, guys. The only thing that we can do is try to balance out things. That's all we can do. We don't have to be cutthroat. We don't have to, like... Sometimes you gotta rip the band-aid off, but you don't have to be cutthroat about it, you know? Being in a marriage, obviously you love this person. That love isn't just gonna dissipate into the air. And some people, it, they're capable of doing that. 15-15. But, um, I mean, everyone needs to be understanding, you know? If, some, if you truly love someone and that person is not happy, set them free, you know? But... That's just my opinion. Two of Wands. Yeah, this person is very back and forth. This is why they're delayed on whether or not to offer you this commitment is what I said. Uh, what I just heard, sorry. Three of Pentacles. I just heard Community. I also heard Soccer, which is weird. So, um, in the beginning of my spiritual awakening, when I was watching a shit ton of tarot readings before I could read tarot, this three of pentacles kept coming out, and um, this is probably why I heard soccer. Um, so <coughs> people see this as this could be someone you work with or a community of uh, people, this kind of thing. Like th this to me, what it always represented was a friend group. It was a friend group. So maybe this is why I'm telling you guys this. Maybe you've been through a lot with these community of people like... Um, you, you kind of feel like this could be you or your person. You kind of feel like, um, these people stole this connection from you, like didn't allow it to, to happen. Didn't allow it to begin. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even see this guy's 10 of swords. Yeah. It's like, um, someone's jaded that you got stolen from them is what I'm hearing. Wow, look at this, guys, the devil. But see, guys, rejection is protection, the star. I feel like this had to happen. Like, this person had to see, um, you or your person had to see who these friends really were to you and who this family group, what, whatever it, it resonates for you guys, 1717, um, again, 717. Um, but yeah, you guys had to end something to be able to wake up to karmic situations. Yeah. You guys are healing your confidence. Um, I feel like both of you have done very well for your self-esteem, like healing each other's self-esteem and building confidence. And I do, I do feel like you guys are going to be able to tell each other this. You're going to recognize each other if you're not already um, in the 3D. But um, August 17th could be significant. Why the hangman? The lovers in the hermit. I just heard someone realize while they were in hermit mode that you were actually their twin flame. Or it could just be divine counterpart or soulmate, whatever label you resonate with. This person is trying to figure out the perfect words to tell you this is what I just heard. September 6th could be significant. 15 could be significant, 9 and 6, Page of Wands. Yeah, they want to write you something, and they're making sure that every single word is correct, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, they want to articulate their words enough to express that they do want to have this happy home with you, that they've gone through a spiritual awakening, that they've learned a lot, and they didn't see you for who you were, because I'm being drawn to this page looking up over here at this wand in the leaves. They didn't see you at first for who you were, but it was because they had a lot of past childhood traumas with the nine of wands and the six of cups. I also just heard, I, I wasn't allowed to see you for who you were. Yeah, I just split the deck at the emperor, guys. Emperor and empress. Definitely twin flamey energy. Definitely divine counterparts here, guys. Let's um, let's see if we can pull from the places deck. 
This is just places that could be significant to you guys in the past, present, or future. Because we did get the community and the friend group. So maybe this will help you guys out a little bit. God, Michael, Spirit, what places are significant? We have a ship. Oh, wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, we have the ship here. We have the park. We have the kitchen. Mystic Haven. And then we have the forest. Let me fix this a little bit. Oh, we also have Perilous uh, Realm. So I feel like this connection has not been easy. I'm hearing seeing the forest before the trees, which I honestly don't really know what that saying means. I've never heard it before I got into spirituality. I want to say it means... No, I have no idea, I guess. If you guys know it, leave it in the comments. I want to say it's like seeing the ending before you go through something. Bottom of the deck is concert. I just heard you guys communicate through music. So these could be significant for you guys. The reason why I said this was weird is um because my mom is wanting to go on a cruise for Mother's Day. So, it was funny. I heard kitchen, kitchen witch, or someone likes to um, cook for you. I heard nourishing your body. Definitely an active service type of person. You guys could both be spiritual. I'm hearing someone could be an actual witch, a white witch. <clears throat> let's see what else we want to pull for you guys. All right, let's pull from the shaman deck. God, Michael, spirit. Some of you could have shaman DNA. God, Michael, spirit. Guys, if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video. I just saw two, 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 two. Yeah, I keep hearing that song. Into you by Paramore. So there's definitely messages in there for you. Many masks, the authentic self. Someone could be 38 or they were 38 when you met them. We have Heart Home Compassion, 27. Someone could have been 27 when they got married. We have Root Girl, the disowned self, 46. I feel like someone abandoned it. Abandoned it. Oh my gosh abandon themselves to appease other people i'm getting people please their energy heavy with the mask and it could be because family is very important to them and their roots like how they grew up is very important to them but they definitely abandon themselves we have lay of the land and uh, oh my gosh i can't talk guys i'm sorry ancestral wisdom 34 someone could be 34 or turning 34 we're going to take this because I'm actually being called to it. And then we have Deep Diver. Diving into a Task 10. So with us seeing 999 during this reading and then we have 10 here. I feel like there is some kind of completion that is taking place. Even if it is behind closed doors. We're going to close out the reading. We're going to end with this lovely fun deck that I do not remember what it's called. But God, Michael Spirit, any advice? Okay. I just saw peace, love, and yoga pants. So maybe you guys are into yoga or yoga pants. Or maybe you need to get into yoga. Clear your energies. Find that inner peace. Gone Michael Spirit. Yeah, I, keep saying, I keep seeing YOLO as well. You only live once. So I think someone's realizing um, 
not necessarily that they're getting older, but you know that sign, uh, that saying, you're only getting older. Um, I feel like it's hitting someone. Okay, we have highly meditated with the license to chill. So someone, I just heard someone needs to chill the fuck out. Maybe someone's overthinking. Don't just do something, sit there. And then we have surf the serenity. Yeah, someone is definitely needing to find, like, inner peace, guys. Take a deep breath and let your fucks go. Whoever needs to give one when you can, release them all. So, I feel like you remember we were picking up on that energy where this masculine is trying to do things right and trying to, or this could be you, um, trying to control the situation as far as making sure everyone's happy and that things are not going to explode. I feel like it's going to get to the point where someone's, it could be this karmic, is going to say something about you or say something about this connection or something that's going to trigger this masculine that zero fucks are going to be given and they're going to tell them exactly how they feel. Take off the shit colored glasses. Find your new normal. Yeah, and I feel like the new normal is taking off the rose-colored glasses, basically. Seeing people for who they are and not what you want them to be is what I'm hearing. Dance in the storm. Fuck yeah, exactly. Stop trying to control it and being afraid of tower moments because sometimes the tower moment is exactly what's needed. And then we have cheers to enjoying life. You're welcome. Chop wood, carry vodka. Oh, wow. Zero fox given. Remember I said zero fox given? And then we have... Um, and you're cute as hell. So if someone's thinking that, you know, you don't look good, just know you cute girl or guy. However it resonates for you guys. All right, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video, guys. I love you. Peace.